We're back here in the Tech Week TV studio here at Techcelerate, part of London Tech Week 2019. And we're going to continue our AI Summit conversations today. And uh, I'm joined on the sofa by Dorota Iskra, who is a VP for Business Development in Europe for Appen. Dorota, thank you very much indeed for joining us. How's it going? It's going very well, thank you. Thanks for the invitation. No, you are, you're very Great welcome. To be here. Thank you for coming to join us. Um, and I, I'd love you to tell me more about what Appen is uh, and what it does for its customers. Well, so Appen is a company that's been around for over 20 years. Uh, we collect and label data. Um, data that is used to power artificial intelligence technology. Uh, we do it for companies that develop this technology or companies that use this technology. So you, you collect, label, annotate data to make sure that the data that gets fed into machine learning systems, artificial intelligence systems, it's, it's good quality data. Absolutely. High quality is very important. Yes. Uh, we do that using humans because we believe that this is what is delivering uh, highest quality. Interesting. So getting rid of the AIs, getting rid of the machines, or feeding the, feeding the machines with quality data from humans. And you, and you believe that humans are the best way of cleaning that data, of making sure that data is trustworthy before it goes into your client systems. Well, so in order to make the uh, machine learning work well, in mm. order to make the technology work well, uh, you need this human factor. Okay. So you need to teach the machines to do things the way that humans would do them. This okay. is uh, that's the idea behind it. So what kind of sectors do you operate in and who typically would your clients be? Well, our clients come from all sectors. Um, when we look at the biggest clients, they are from the high tech, but mm. we also work with uh, automotive. Uh, we work with e-commerce. We work with uh, government. Um, we're currently moving more into the financial services, into healthcare and manufacturing. Um, there's a few concerns in some of these markets um, uh, around things like data privacy issues and yes. uh, there are some regulatory concerns. Um, but as a company, we also have solutions for those. So uh, we can provide things like on-site services where we bring in people uh, to work on customer sites. We can provide on-premise installations of the software um, and we do have secure facilities where we can deal with data in a secure way. And of course, you know, when we're talking about uh, when we're talking about machine learning, artificial intelligence, and feeding those systems with with data sets from them to learn, one of the challenges surely there is is scale. You know, the fact that there may be a, an awful lot of figures, particularly when you're looking at financial services data, to feed into those systems. So, how do you scale to be able to supply those customers with the volume of data cleansing that they need? Yeah. Well, we're used to ramping up quickly and scaling up quickly. We have a crowd of one million workers oh, around wow. the world. Yeah, it is quite an impressive number. Um, across a large number of languages, mm. over 180 languages, I believe. Wow. Um, Pretty much all the languages covered there. Absolutely. <laughs> um, and yeah, whenever we have a new project, we just uh, call on these people and ask them to support us. And if we are short of people, we just go and recruit some additional ones. It sounds like you've got a human cloud there, doesn't it? All the benefits that we talk about in yeah, terms of cloud computing, about the ability to be elastic and to scale very, very quickly is what you've got with your fleet of humans. I think of this humans. is a very nice way of putting it. Thank you. You are, you are <laughs> welcome to that one. You, you can keep that. Um, so in terms of the bigger AI picture outside of what Appen does, or obviously part of it as well, um, what are the biggest challenges that you see? And we've spoken, I think, to data and the quality of data uh -huh. that, you know, garbage in, garbage out, as we've said in IT for years. Yeah. Uh, are there any other, other challenges that, that you see in terms of broader value coming from artificial intelligence implementations? Um, absolutely. Um, I think, uh, well, I mean, obviously AI has been a big buzzword in the last few years. Mm. And we do see that most companies are trying to get into it because they feel that this is the space that they need to be yeah. and it gives them competitive advantage. Um, but what we also note is that one of the challenges one of the challenges is having a clear AI strategy. Yeah. So um, 
instead of thinking like this is where I need to be, um, they should really um, sort of you know break this into pieces, identify a problem, set a goal, set mm. a clear path how to achieve this goal, start with a proof of concept, start small, prove that this is working, and then move into production. Um, Another challenge which I think many companies face is having executive buy-in. Yeah. Um, so, you know, it's good to have bottom-up initiatives, but if you don't have executives supporting you, yep. uh, it's going to be very hard to move it to the production stage. Particularly as you want these to be long-term projects, not, yeah. you know, uh, tactical interventions. Yeah. And then obviously data, as you mentioned initially, is one of the big challenges as well. Mm. So. Many companies have their own data these days, yeah. um, but they should be looking at, yeah, what is the state of this data? Is yeah. it is it sufficient? Is it good enough? Do they need um, any extra layers? Do they need the labeling? Mm -hmm. Is this something that they can do in-house? Do they have the expertise to do it, or is it better to outsource it? Um, so not just in strategy for AI in general, but also for, for data, which is supposed to power AI. What's next for App and Dorota? So App and acquired Figure 8 uh, mm. recently, and we are very excited about it. It gives us the uh, best of breed combination of a platform that comes from Figure 8 and managed services, uh, which is something that App and has been providing for over 20 years. Um, and we're going to keep delivering on uh, scale, quality, security, and speed as this is what our customers expect us to do. So uh, please stay tuned for <laughs> further developments. Brilliant. Well, listen, thank you very much indeed for joining us here in the studio today. Uh, have a great rest of London Tech Week and Tech Accelerate. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.